More Supreme Court employees expected to testify for the defense today. This despite a resolution of the High Court barring justices and employees from testifying in the impeachment court. Good afternoon. It is day 29 of the impeachment trial of Chief Justice Renato Corona. I'm Natasha Gutierrez reporting live from the Senate for Rappler.com. On day 27, we saw the defense present two additional witnesses. The second witness, Chief Judicial Staff Officer Araceli Bayuga, testified about other sources of legitimate income, other legitimate sources of income by the Chief Justice. She enumerated the income and allowances that was received by Corona since he was appointed as Associate Justice in 2002. Bayuga said Corona got 21 million pesos in salaries and allowances from 2002 to 2011. Ms. Bayuga will be back today for cross-examination by the prosecution, who had requested for more time to review the documents. Also yesterday, the defense presented Demetrio Vicente, the buyer of the Marikina property owned by Cristina Corona. Vicente testified that he had bought the property from the Corona couple in 1990. However, the property is still under Mrs. Cristina Corona's name until today. Now, this property has not been listed by the Chief Justice in his Statement of Assets, Liabilities, and Net Worth. However, Vicente insisted that the property is his, and the only reason his name is not on the property, in the property is because he had not been able to afford the transfer tax. Now, when it was the prosecution's turn, it was revealed that Vicente is a cousin of Corona's. It also raised questions on who has been paying the property tax, since under the real property tax, Cristina Corona's name is still on the document. Now, also today, Midas Marquez is expected to testify. This despite the resolution um, set by the Supreme Court on February 14. Now, this has raised eyebrows. Senator Judge Francis Pangilinan questioned why the defense could present Supreme Court employees and accused uh, the Supreme Court of being selective. The prosecution has tried to present Supreme Court employees but has not been allowed to because of the resolution. They say the Supreme Court has double standards. The defense, however, on their part, has said that they have been presenting these uh, Supreme Court employees to talk about administrative matters as opposed to confidential matters, and they are talking about pen uh, cases that are no longer pending in the Supreme Court. According to them, the prosecution wanted to subpoena Supreme Court employees to talk about confidential matters on cases still pending in the Supreme Court, which is uh, prohibited by the resolution. Thank you for watching the live stream of Frappler.com. Stay tuned. The trial starts at 2 p.m.